Hey everybody, this is going to be Stranglehold Part 4, and uh, I'm sorry for breaking this all down in uh, small segments, but I think it's good for, uh, for getting that finger memory and, uh, and truly understanding uh, Ted Nugent's uh, techniques uh, using his uh, string bending and sustain and, uh, and attitude. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's good to, uh, to be very broad in your, uh, in your knowledge on guitar and licks. Um, and, uh, it, it's really important to be able to play slow and fast, melodic. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it depends what you're, you know, interested in most, obviously. Uh, but, um, you know, as long as you're having fun, I guess. Um, anyway, I, I think that Ted Nugent's uh, technique, uh, all, although in many cases underrated, uh, is, is something that every guitarist uh, should pay uh, a lot of attention and uh, spend a lot of time focusing on, uh, on his technique. It, it'll improve your, uh, your sound and, uh, and the, the way people listen to you, let's just say. So uh, we'll go back to where we were um, on the stranglehold solo. So we got uh, 